Okay. I've had a great question from a lady who sends me lots of messages and uh, is clearly extremely interested in learning about aromatherapy and she's asked some really good questions to help other people she feels are interested in aromatherapy and she wants to know, two, two questions, how do you know how medications will counteract with an essential oil? That's a very good question. And also, how do you find good resources to find qualified aromatherapists and herbalists in the area? So, yeah, that's two of them in turn. I'll start with the end and work backwards. Um, in, uh, in answer to your question about herbalists, Shelley, I don't know, I'm not a herbalist, but I'm guessing it's the same way as an aromatherapist that you find a professional body. So, um, in... Uh, in the UK, we have the IFA and we have IFPA, I -F -P -A, who are the governing bodies um, of aromatherapy and they issue lists. You can ask them for a list of prof um, professional aromatherapists in your area. In America, we have NAHA, National Association of Holistic Aromatherapists, and the AIA. Um, which I can't remember what well, it is because I'm not a member. But um, both are fantastic uh, governing bodies. Both will issue you lists. Um, some of them have them posted onto the website. Otherwise, just go to their website and ask. Um, and obviously, aromatherapists have to pay a certain amount of money to be listed with them each year. But also, to um, they have to go through a betting procedure and prove that they are qualified to be able to be members. And... These are great places to find aromatherapists, and I'm sure there is a similar one for herbalists. Um, medications. So, how do you know if a medication will interact with your essential oil? You know, the only way that you can do that is to look it up. And even now, after 25 years, I have to look quite a lot of them up. Um, if I have a new patient, I will always go to the drawing board and say, right, I'll find it. Um, what the interactions are. Um, the main ones that you're going to have issues with are ones that thin the blood. Um, if you already have uh, on blood thinning medications, there are oils like grapefruit that will thin it more. And in itself, that's not particularly an issue until you bang yourself or you go into an operation um, or you start having nosebleeds, then you are just, it's much harder for it to stop. Um, and High and low blood pressure, there, you know, essential oils really do affect blood pressure and heart um, issues and diabetes. So these are listed in my book, um, The Complete Guide to Essential Oils of the Physical Body, which is free to download on Amazon if you haven't got it. Um, and I usually list them vaguely at the bottom of each essential oil, so it does not uh, match with blood thinning medication, etc. Another possible contraindication might be the way that oils are metabolized by the liver and um, there are certain medications and certain metabolites in the liver where when an essential oil hits the liver it will, uh, certain enzymes will help make them split into lots of different chemicals so one chemical will be metabolized into several and if the essential oil is striking with the same metabolite as your medication then that can be difficult too and again that's listed in my book however my book is vague from that point of view the information has been taken from a much better source which is uh, Tisserandon Young 2013 uh, essential oil safety for, for professionals and there it's very in-depth very um, explicitly explained um, and yeah as a resource it can't be beaten from that point of view um, carrier oils sometimes you will have interactions so for example um, St John's wort can be interact with everything actually even though it's a fantastic fantastic medica uh, medicine it does interact with lots of different things so if you can't find it straight away on uh, in Tisserand and Young, which you will, or in my book, which you probably will, um, then I look on drugs.com and just see if I can see something there. If you haven't found it in those three, uh, three um, sources, then the chances are, so far, we haven't discovered an interaction. That's not to say that there isn't one. 
Um, but yeah, those are you three ways of checking. And that was a great question, Shirley. Um, I just want to send you a thank you for the question and for all your support, Shirley, because you're like a cheerleader and I really do appreciate it. The new book that's out today, I'm going to send you your own copy, um, which is about its articles and essays that I've written for professional magazines. Um, a lot more focused on the mind, body, spirit um, than perhaps some of the single notes have been. And I think you will really enjoy it from the point of view of medicine because quite a lot of the book focuses on different conditions, Shirley. So I think you'll find it interesting. So please message me your um, address, your home address, so I can send it through the post to you. And thank you. Fantastic questions. I think people will really appreciate them. Thanks for the effort, Shirley.